We got a girls' night, date night. Uh, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we're hanging out today, just the girls. Um, we are actually gonna go see a movie. We're gonna go to see Toy Story 4. And technically, Ella's already seen it. <laughs> yeah, um, we saw. I saw the bad kid. In. Yeah. Well, don't tell me about it yet, girlfriend. I um. Hold on. There was one day. Oh God. Oh, there's a man crossing a street who was like crazy. What, babe? My wallet. Your wallet. Your wallet's in my bag, baby. I'll get it when we stop. Um. I can't remember. I feel like I talked about that day. I was so, I was so sick with morning sickness. Do you feel the air, honey? It's coming out a little. There was one day that I was so sick with morning sickness. And I feel like I mentioned it. I just don't know if it's in a vlog or if it was on my pregnancy diaries, which I also need to film that today. But there was one day that I was so sick and I felt bad because I didn't want Ella to be stuck in the house with me. So my sister-in-laws ended up taking her to go see the movie with my niece and nephew. So she's already seen it, um, but the only other movie that's coming out that we really wanna see is The Lion King and it's not technically out yet. So I really wanted to go see a movie and I asked Ella if it was okay to go see Toy Story 4 again and she's okay with it. Um, so it must've been good. But I wanted Lion King to again. Well, we gotta go see Lion King with Daddy because Daddy would be really, really sad if we saw Lion King without him. So we're definitely gonna go see that, but that comes out in July. Yeah, that comes out in July. But we already did matches, but we gotta do yeah. it again. We saw Secret Life of Pets already, the second one. And then we gonna saw another second one. We also saw Aladdin already. So it was like, there, the choices are pretty slim, you know? I'm not gonna take you to go see like child's play, you know what I mean? Like they're, I, I'm pretty limited with what you know, I can see with her, so. You know Gabby, Gabby? Gabby? I know she's part of this new movie, but I don't know what her role is yet. Is she a bad girl or a good girl? Wait, she's still a little bad girl, but she's still good. Does she start off bad and then turn good? She starts off bad and turn good. But she has a bad brother. <laughs> you know Forky. He's so funny. Forky. I saw yeah, I saw commercials with Forky. But I don't know who Forky is yet. But we'll find out today. Forky's just a fork. <laughs> well, I figured as much, baby girl. Um, so we're going to Target real quick because today is also a really beautiful day and I also really wanted to get um, like an activity set to do outside with Ella. Like not a toy, but like... I mean, you know that squishy unicorn something. I just saw at Target and Cookies will... Yeah, but re at this remember, remember what I said. We're not here to like buy a toy. We're here to buy something that... It's we can soft do and squishy together, but that's just going right over her head. <laughs> I didn't um, really, really want to get, get that squishy unicorn. No, we're not buying a toy today, baby. And we're no buying squishy. like T ball or like something like that, something active that we can do outside together. Because after the movie, the movie starts at one. It's twelve oh nine right now, so we have a little bit of time to kill. So let's go inside, see what we can find, and then in a little bit we will go to the movies. Look, I have right found up. a like a little black dolphin. Uh, doesn't that one squeak? Yeah. Let me see. You hear that? A little bit. Here, let me help. I think we won this at like a fair. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Also, I'm still at that point in my pregnancy where I can't wear, like, I don't fit in any of my pants anymore. So I've been, like, accustomed to dresses. I got this one at Walmart, and it's super cute and super comfortable, and uh, I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. Can you hold my pocketbook? It's in my bag, sweetie. Come on. So I know it's a little bit early, but I'm starting to put together, like, my girl and boy backpack to give away this August for back to school. So I'm kind of oh, looking around at stuff like that too. I don't have this one. Uh, I don't think so, baby girl. 
I'm here for candy and for toys, and I'm <laughs> once again in home decor. Okay, we did come across those, and she wants a jungle one, so we will get that. Okay, that's good. I see a big bag. Big but I need a smaller one. These ones are my favorite. All right, honestly, I don't see a smaller bag, but we're gonna go check by the register to see if we have any luck. Put those back, we're gonna go get a smaller bag. All right, admittedly, I, I kind of lost track of time at Walmart, or at Target, hello. Um, but we're gonna make it. <laughs> I ended up pre-purchasing the tickets on Fandango as we got at Target, because I was like, oh my God, it was like, it was quarter of one. Right now it's 110. And I was afraid that they wouldn't like let us actually purchase the tickets. I'm not too worried because all we're missing right now is previews. And because we've been to the, the movie so yeah, often, because, like... Yeah, because the I get the boy is dead. What? <laughs> He's so stinky. So, okay. Um, I'm not too worried about missing the previews, but we do have to fly in, go to the bathroom real quick. Um, I don't I don't know how like this theater that we're going to works with like prepaid tickets But I have my confirmation number from Fandango yeah. So we're gonna get in and we're like no more than five minutes away. So yeah, but I don't see the movies That's what happens when you're at Target <laughs> And I, I seriously thought I had more time we got there like what it was 1204 yeah, when I we got there We already went to Target and I saw a jungle pool Yes, we did buy something. We did end up buying that pool thing, so we're gonna try to set that up today. But yeah, and my friends will try run over and say, "One yeah, world." Maybe, but we do have to also step like after the movies. We gotta go to the sun store because I am totally out of toilet paper and milk, and I need to get like a little blow up thing to help me pump this up and then we'll probably just be spending the rest of the day outside <laughs> we're in the bathroom real quick it lives in that one can you believe it she's using stalls all by herself okay so we got our tickets we well i don't want to hear you boo <laughs> um we are in theater 10 we probably are like missing just the beginning of it but i'm not too worried because she's already seen it you done yeah all right make sure you flush i got a little bit oops Come on, baby, we gotta go, honey. Hi. We're gonna miss the movie. Mm. Got some popcorn. I haven't been able to, like, do sweets and stuff. I bought the thing of Rolos, but... Honestly, that was just hopes I could be able to hold it down. Come on, Bubba. Sorry, theater is, like, way down in the abyss. Let's see. All right, here we go. There's nine... That one's good. And 10. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I hear it. Ah! So, I'm on my way to work, but I realized that after the movie, like, I never, like, updated you guys. Um, I just started to feel really sick. Um, when we were seeing the movie, I had popcorn. And, like, I was able to hold it down and everything, but it's just left this pit in my stomach. And after the movie, we ended up just doing like a light, gro uh, light grocery shopping. But like I felt like crap the whole time. So I basically just grabbed like kind of what I needed right away. And then I'll, I'll probably just make another trip sometime later this week. But it's been rough. Like I know I'm doing my pregnancy diaries and everything. So I'm updating you guys every week. But it's like, I haven't felt good for a month. <laughs> you know, like ever literally excuse me literally ever since my birthday um i haven't been feeling good it's either i have a massive migraine or back pain or cramping and i'm gonna talk about this this week in my pregnancy diaries but i've had like serious cramps coming up from well you're already committing so go um i've had serious cramps coming up from my ribs and it like shot all the way up to my neck. So I don't know what the heck is going on with that. It makes me a little worried. Um, but I'm just a mess. Like some days I feel okay. Like I've never felt myself since the day after my birthday. Like the day that I found out that I was pregnant started this whole like just not feeling well or myself at all. So like... I'll find like an hour in my day where I'm like, oh, I wanna vlog or like I wanna film a video or like I'll be super inspired. 
and then I just feel like crap. <laughs> like there is at least one other video that I have to film of the product literally sitting on my counter just waiting for me. I was supposed to film my pregnancy diaries yesterday and I'm gonna have to do it at some point tomorrow, which means I'm gonna be stressing to get it up for Sunday. It's just been rough. <laughs> it's been it's been rough. Like I remember Ella, the only thing that I remember in my first trimester with Ella is I was sick all the time still, but it was just like, oh I gotta go get sick, be right back. Like it wasn't a big deal. This time it's like painful and I can't sleep like I cannot sleep I am having insomnia where I feel so tired during the day like I could take a nap right now at the wheel <laughs> I could fall asleep right now but then like in a couple of hours I've been going to bed at like 8 30 unless I have to like self tan then I have to stay up a little bit later um, but I've been pretty much going to bed at like 8 30 9 o'clock and sleeping until like 7 which is plenty of sleep but then like by one o'clock I'll be exhausted again and I, I when I finally rest my head down at night I cannot fall asleep like a perfect example was last night I went to bed shortly after putting my daughter down I think she went down probably I'll say nine just to be safe so I laid down at nine to go to sleep and I'm tossing and turning tossing and turning I ended up getting into this like I ended up binge watching like a whole bunch of YouTube horror uh, stories because for some reason that's soothing to go to sleep with but that's just what I do and it I remember watching video after video after video I ended up at one point like turning the brightness on my screen all the way down and I just had to like prop my phone up and eventually I fell asleep and then Oh, I remember when I was sitting there watching the uh, shows, I had like a sudden craving, like I really wanted those. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but they're little square orange crackers from the brand Austin. They're like peanut butter crackers. And I, I have been staying away from peanut butter because it hasn't been making me feel that good, but that's all I wanted. And I had it and I almost ate the entire pack, but I'm telling you, the minute I finished that last one, I had to get sick again, so, you know, it's like, ugh. and then the dreams have been crazy, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not going into detail because check out Pregnancy Diaries Week 9 if, uh, if you haven't, but, oh my gosh, that's just what's going on with my week, and it's been rough. So even last night after I fell asleep, after like hours of tossing and turning, I think I probably fell asleep probably around midnight. I woke up, <laughs> I woke up at 4.30 and I felt wide awake. So I literally went downstairs, made myself some toast because I was hungry. <laughs> I ended up seeing like when I was um, toasting my bread this morning I actually happen to look up at my kitchen window faces like my neighborhood road and I see a deer just casually walking down the road so I'm like well hello um and then I ended up going back upstairs and my husband when I went back upstairs I I stirred him awake and seeing me awake he's like oh god I'm late for work but then he looks at his phone and he's like oh he's like it's still early it's, yeah I, I cannot fall back asleep so I ate my toast and then I tossed and turned again for like another hour. Mind you, now it's 5.30 in the morning. My daughter's probably going to be up at 6.30. And then finally I fell back asleep. It was, ugh, but this has been every night, guys. I either wake up because I have to throw up or I wake up because I have to pee or I wake up because I'm starving or I just wake up for no apparent reason. And like... I've, I've been having back pain, which is normal during pregnancy. Like, a lot of people experience that. But I experience most of my back pain at night. So, not only am I not able to sleep, but then I'm tossing and turning because I cannot get my back comfortable at all. And then, on top of all of that, I'm dealing with a rash on my leg that I have no idea what it's from. I don't think it's eczema. I thought it was at first, but... I've tried putting eczema cream on like with no, I don't know, maybe it is, I, I don't know. 
um, but it's flaring up like crazy so that was keeping me up because I was like itching it like crazy and then I would break skin and then it would be really painful <sighs> needless to say <laughs> I've been having a rough couple days, so I apologize if like I'm all over the place with my vlogs. Um, tomorrow, my mom's asking if I have any plans, but like I'm afraid, I'm afraid to like go far or do something, you know, because just of how crappy I've been feeling. And thank God, it's you know almost July, because my second trimester is supposed to be in July. So hopefully, at least the morning sickness will be over. And I'll be able to just go back to, to be able to eat on top of all the horror stories that I've been watching on YouTube. I've also been watching, um, there's a particular food challenge YouTuber that I love watching. His name is Randy. I'll, I'll, I'll link him if I remember. Um, he just seems like a really sweet guy, but I've been watching his food challenges for years and I'm just like, like I want it so bad that I can't hold anything down. Um, and let me tell you, I, I literally choked on an apple the other day, not going down, coming back up. That's disgusting, right? Like I was eating a Granny Smith apple because when I was first getting sick with my morning sicknesses, all I could eat was apples. And like that was the only thing that was able to keep down. So there was one particular day where I really wasn't feeling well, but I was so hungry. So I ate a Granny Smith and I make sure that like, especially if I know like I've been sick, that I like extra chew my food because I am terrified of choking to begin with. But like, even when you chew apples, like to pulverize them, it comes back up like a super thick uh, applesauce. So I literally choked on that the other day. <laughs> So needless to say, I haven't touched Apple. Sorry, this is so gross, but like I'm just telling you how it is. Um, and then Lucky Charms is the nastiest thing coming back up. You wouldn't expect it. Oh my gosh, that was so gross coming back up. And it was green, like military green. Have you ever seen your milk at the end of a Lucky Bowls charm? It was that color, but like worse. <laughs> Sorry to ruin your breakfast, but I'm I'm serious. So anyways, the movie was fantastic. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, obviously. There is, um, it made me cry. And I've just been emotional anyways, but it made me cry at the beginning, middle, and the end. Um, really good movie. I think they kind of left it at a point where like, I think that's it. But I, I'm glad that's it. I feel like if you overdo something, it just kind of kills it. But um, I think they did a great job. They introduced new characters, of course. Um, but there are a couple movies coming out. I wanted to do a whole trailer reaction for The Lion King, but that's so close to coming out. That's kind of pointless at the moment. But I'm still considering doing the uh, Frozen 2 trailer reaction. I just... I need to feel better and kind of get into the mojo. Luckily, I have a couple pre-recorded videos that I need to get out anyway, so I'm kind of like good, but my my uploading has still been slow because to even get myself to sit down and review a video and write the description and put in all the tags and schedule it, like if I'm not like right on my phone at three o'clock, then you guys get like delayed updates with my videos. It's just been a mess. I'm doing my best. <laughs> and I know you guys are so supportive. I'm just kind of trying to tell myself that it's okay. <laughs> and that it's okay to feel that and it's okay to feel this way because I'm literally growing a human being. I hope that this labor is not much different than Ella's because I had a really easy labor with Ella to be honest with you. But the way that this pregnancy has been going so far, like I'm a little worried. And then when Ella was born, my tailbone like got jacked up. Like I don't know what happened, but my I remember having like severe back pain um, after she was born. And I still can't sit directly on my tailbone to this day. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, but I don't know, I just gotta get through. But they said, all the research that I've done says that morning sickness pretty much, sorry, this is such a pothole road. Um, pretty much the internet and my doctors have said that morning sickness uh, usually will subside between 11 and 14 weeks. 
So at best, I have two more weeks of this crap. <laughs> at the worst, I have another month. <laughs> so, so bear with me, guys. I'm doing my best. If anything, I'm just trying to keep um, updated with my pregnancy diaries. But if for some reason, I really just can't pull myself to do it or like I'm really struggling to get it out. Um, then I'll just combine two weeks or something and, and then put it out like the following week But I don't want to do that. You know, what I mean like my whole goal was to post uh, an update every week. So There's that I've almost talked the entire way back to my house. This video is 12 minutes long So probably this entire day is just gonna be one vlog um, Like I said tomorrow my mom is trying to do something so maybe there'll be something exciting um, but really there's not a whole lot going on until the very beginning of July so this next week might be a little slow um, we never got to set up that pool either that we got from Target uh, we ended up running out of time after the movies and grocery shopping but I told Ella that if tomorrow was hot that I would set it up for her but now we might have plans with my mom so if we set that up you know obviously I'll put that on a vlog and stuff but other than that um, I think I'm I think we're going camping for the 4th of July like we're gonna go 4th of July is on a Friday this year so I think we're gonna go up um, Wednesday evening and then like ouch hold this friggin rash I think we're gonna go up Wednesday e evening and then spend the whole 4th of July there uh, at the campground my aunt has an RV and then I know my mom has to leave like that night because then she has work again on the 5th. So there might be some exciting footage. We'll see. But I love you guys so much. I'm sorry this vlog was kind of like, I feel like it was all over the place. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. But I just feel like my head is all over the place. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching and listening to me, listening to me ramble regardless. Hopefully this will all be over soon. And I can eat whatever I want. And no, you can't cut me off, mother ever. No, oh, you cut the person behind me off, though. Stupid. All right, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.